Hey guys, in this video we are going to be taking a look at a comparison between two platforms, videos versus Playset. So we're going to have a look over the both platforms and I'm going to share with you what some of the products, features and services that are actually available within each of the platforms and actually how you can use them and how you can use the features and templates inside to be able to create high quality content for your videos online for your YouTube channels, Twitch streams or whatever type of video content you're looking to create online. So before we actually get into it, make sure to leave a like on the video, also be sure to subscribe to the channel and again hit the bell icon to be updated on future videos. And if you want to gain access to either videos or places, I'll leave links down in the description so that you can go and check them out. So just to give a quick overview of both of these platforms, starting with videos. Videos is actually a well-known platform that actually allows you to create very highly engaging video overlays and content, video intros and so forth for the likes of your YouTube videos, your Twitch videos. It allows you to embed the likes of your own graphics and logos onto high quality visual templates that have actually been custom made with the intention to allow you to actually help capture your audience's eyes and actually promote your brand and literally just grow your online business. They've actually got tons of different types of templates available and they have different versions of the platform that you can opt into. Even you can opt into like a one-off paid version of the platform that allows you to actually get access to a load of different templates for a one-time fee. Or you can upgrade to the likes of the template club features which actually gives you to like over 1500 custom made templates so that you can literally just go wild with your creative ideas to be able to create anything that you pretty much want because again the templates are there and you can just add in your own content text logos and so forth and you can pretty much create content to your own preference to build your online business so with regards to place it place it is also a very very similar platform in terms of what it does in terms of the video content but compared to videos videos primarily focuses on just custom video creation place it is definitely a monster in terms of the content that it actually provides it actually not only has likes of video content that you can also use for the likes of your youtube videos gaming videos pretty much but it also has access to loads of different custom features that you can literally create your own designs it has access to custom templates if you want to create business cards if you want to even create custom templates or designs for the likes of t-shirts or apparel wear, YouTube templates, pretty much anything that you can think of. It has mockups and templates pretty much for every business type pretty much out there. But primarily in this video we're only going to be fo focusing on the likes of the video aesthetics and the video elements within Playset. If you want to know more about the other elements of Playset, I actually have done a previous review video on Playset. I'll make sure to drop a link down in the description so that you can go and check it out. Because again I cover a lot more of these other features and services within the platform that actually will show you some of the other cool concepts that are available if you really want to start using the platform to help grow in your business. So depending on which one you want to get started with it pretty much depends on your own preference especially if it's video content that you're wanting to utilize because either platform pretty much allows you to create whatever type of content that you need especially you can either use it if you're wanting to create your own personal content or whether you have your own business or freelance business and you're creating video content for other clients you can use either of these platforms to create content very very quickly and not only that you can create very very highly engaging and professional looking content in a matter of only minutes which in turn allows you to be able to you can charge your own prices then to your clients for the work that you're actually presenting to them so this here does actually give you the option to do that even with videos they do actually have different type of licenses like they have agency licenses so that you can use the platform pretty much in your business and you can resell a lot of the content inside but you would need to opt into those the other licenses to be able to figure that out so as you can see here they do actually have different kind of options that are that cater for different types of uses whether you're working for yourself whether you're already within the business or for agencies or for enterprise and so forth they have enough custom features available for you to be able to utilize it to however you wish and one of the cool things about videos is that you can create the content inside you can have a video up and running and it's literally as simple as three clicks it's very very simple to be able to create a very high quality video in a matter of only a couple of minutes 
So as you can see here with the likes of the pricing plans, you can actually pay up to like $97 for an individual plan or commercial. So it's $127 and it gives you access to a load of other bonuses. They do run various deals throughout the year as well where you may be able to get it a little bit cheaper at times. So it's just something to kind of look out for if you are considering it. But even for the price point that you're actually getting that and for the value that's inside in the platform, it's actually incredible. I do use videos a lot for a lot of the overlays and text features and even some of the video sequences in my videos because it's so simple to use like an absolute beginner can come in here and have no problem being able to put the pieces together that they actually need but if you do want to gain access to more templates you can get you can pay a monthly fee to gain access to the likes of the template club and it actually gives you access to like 1500 plus templates that will also help you to give you more variety in terms of content creation but not only that they always regularly update and add more templates that you can use literally every month so there'll always be something new and fresh for you to use so just to give you an, an idea of how simple it is to use videos when you actually sign up you do have access to loads of different type of content features and templates to use you can also access any of your previous videos that you actually have created in the past. There's loads of different templates, even with the account that I have. Now, I don't have the template club. I just have the standard edition. But even the standard edition is more than enough to actually help get started, especially if you're a beginner. As you can see now, when you highlight over a lot of the templates, it actually gives you live previews of what the videos will actually look like. And they actually do look really incredible. Like, the, they're definitely, it's definitely the best pretty much out there for the types of videos that they do. They pretty much are the best platform on the internet for currently what they do there's so much on offer here so just to give you an idea of how easy it is to actually create something on the platform you want to pick a template that you're going to use and just click on customize so you can add in whatever text you'll be able to change the likes of the colors and you can even add in audio if you want as well so for this case i'm just going to type in my channel so when you're happy enough with the text that you actually have, you can actually add change, change the colors if you want to. You can add in audio and when you're ready, you just click on continue. So you can also preview any audio tracks that you want to implement into the video itself. Again, click continue and then click on preview. And what that's going to do is it's going to load up the video itself so that you can actually see and get a visual representation of what it's going to look like when it's finished. So when you're happy enough with everything then you can just click on create. And what that is going to do, it's going to set up the video and it's going to render it out so that it can be ready for a preview so that you can download it once it's done. So that way then you can use it on your own videos. As you can see here it's going through the process of rendering the video so you can see it happening in real time. But when you're actually walking away with using the templates, you can set the orientation of different types of templates, whether for like for square or for portrait. They've got different templates based off different preferences. If you're creating Instagram videos or TikTok videos or pretty much anything that you can think of, you can change the orientation of each of the video templates and they've got their own custom templates that are associated with each of these orientations. And you can filter them out from different sizes, different seconds, from time. So you can check out the oldest, newest, the most relevant. It just allows you to be able to search for everything a lot quicker. Again, there's enough templates here for you to actually pretty much use it on whatever type of content that you want. So as you can see here now, the video is actually finished downloading. So what you can actually do is click on the download button. But what will also happen is videos will also send an email to your email address that you use to sign up with the platform and give you a link to the video as well to remind you to download it when it's actually ready to be used. So all you want to do is click on download and you'll have access to the video. So it gives you access in this case where you can set it up as a .mov file or an animated GIF. In a lot of other cases you can set it up as MP4. It depends on the actual template itself. Different templates will have different outputs. So as you can see now the video is actually downloading. It'll take a few moments but once it's downloaded then you can preview it just to see if it works. So now that the video is actually finally downloaded we can actually go and test it. So you just want to open it up in your video playing app and then you can just press play to test it out. So that's how it looks like when it's actually finished. So now that you can use that in your video and then you can use it for say your subscription icons for your videos or any type of other content that you actually have. There's loads of templates again here that allow you to pretty much promote your videos, your content, whatever it is that you're looking to do with your videos on YouTube or Twitch or whatever it is that you're creating video content for. There's more than enough here to actually show you how to utilize it. And again, you can clearly see how simple it is to use the videos platform. So even an absolute beginner can definitely get the hang of this in, in relatively short time. So when you're actually looking to use Placeit, if videos isn't 
the program you want to use or if you already have an account replace it it does have access again to loads of different like templates for different types of media which i have covered in my previous video i'll leave a link in the description so you can go and check it out but also you do have access to loads of custom video templates that you can create really really cool animations you can set them up for like Twitch streams, even YouTube streams, different types of logos, even like logos to present to your channel and so forth. You have access to loads of even different overlays as well. If you even want to use likes of overlays for the likes of your live streams, you can actually have them that will actually show up on the likes of your Twitch feeds or even your YouTube channel. So you can actually have your video behind all this here and all this graphics element will actually showcase in front of that as like an additional layer, which is actually a really cool feature because it allows you to set up your own stream or your own kind of videos as your own. You can put your own style on it if you wish. So this here gives you a really, really cool insight as to how you can actually do that. So you can literally just pick one of these if you want to use them. This here now can be used with the likes of the free open source OBS Studio. And you can integrate this here template with it. You can download the template once you've edited in all the additional features and so forth. So it's really, really cool that you can do this. So you can come in and edit it. You can highlight anything on the screen. You can change the likes of the fonts. You can even upload the other fonts. You can access other fonts from within the font library within the program. You can add in different graphical overlays and text elements. You can even add in different likes of, if you want to even add in your own photographs or even just have the original outlay that your video will show in the screen. You can even change the different kind of aesthetics of the actual overlay itself. So you can actually change it. As you can see here, you have a couple of different options that you can utilize to change. You can also change the color palette of the actual aesthetic of the background as well, as you can see here. So that's actually really cool. So you can definitely set your own preference. And you can even change the color of the icons as well to match that as you can see here the colors actually change so it kind of is like a global kind of universal style kind of element to it that when you change the color in something it'll change in all of them so it actually cuts down on the workload so instead of having to select every individual piece it can do it automatically through the options that are available you can also add in other images whatever type of content you can save it as a draft you can save it to your favorites come back to it later you can even share it on social media as well when you're finished editing it and then when you're ready you can download the template and then you can embed it into it in your streams on your videos which is a really cool feature. So again, you can actually have a look into different types of content ideas. You can set up video intros, you can set up YouTube videos. So you have access to loads of different type of templates that you can use on your videos on YouTube as well. So as you can see here, you can actually gain access to loads of different type of custom made templates. And there's a similar aesthetic to like the live stream elements and even all the other elements within the platform whether you're doing likes of printed kind of elements likes of with apparel or even business card and so forth you can pretty much do the same thing here with the videos so we're just going to pick a template here and i'm just going to quickly show you how to use this as well and it has a similar aesthetic to videos so actually you're going to pick this here because it's relevant to this video because again it is a versus video so we are comparing the two products so we're just going to pick this one here so once you've actually opened up the video editor you will be presented with the editing interface the one thing you can notice straight away is the fact is that each of the video segments within the playset dashboard can be accessed through different slides so you start off primarily with two slides depending on the video length but you can also add in other slides as well for other video variants as well so for this case here with the first one that's selected you can actually preview it and it gives you an idea of what it's actually going to look like which is actually really cool so what you can actually do is if you want to highlight something you can highlight the other slide if you want and then you can edit that as well so it changes the variation of the slide so that you can do whatever tweaks or whatever aesthetics that you need you want to implement into that you can also change the playback speed as well so you can reduce it or increase it by up to at least 1.5 percent also what you can do is you can add in like audio tracks to a load of ready to use audio tracks within place it itself you can test and preview it or what you can do is you can click on the edit icon here and it will open up an audio library so you can actually find a load of other type of usable tracks that you can utilize that primarily would be free to use on the platform but even if you don't want to use that you can still use likes of music from other platforms if you have access to the likes of epidemic sound or some of those other music platforms or even within the youtube audio library itself so that you can download free assets that you can utilize as well and you can upload them here too but in this case all you want to literally do is 
you in order to edit these here so you want to upload an image so what i'm going to do quickly is i'm just going to upload my logo i'm just going to find where my logo actually is find the folder for it and i'm going to upload it so you can crop it and you can resize it so when you're happy enough with it you can just click and crop it will take a few minutes to update everything but once it does it will actually show it you everything in real time so what you can do is you can come back to the original slide because there's two slides here i'm going to use the two of them for the intro so what i'm going to literally do is just upload two images i'm just going to literally get the logos from both videos and place it and put them on it so you can resize the elements within it if you want and crop it to size and what I can also do is upload the, the second image then as well. So just to speed things up on this slightly, I'm just going to increase the playback speed on this just to update it. And I'm going to do the same on the second slide. So if you want to, you can add it to your favorites. You can save it as a draft. So what you can do then when you're actually ready to go, you can access the update and play it all in one sequence. So you can just click on play all down at the bottom. It's going to go through the process of rendering all the slides for the video so it'll take a few moments so here now the video is actually ready to go so you can just preview it once everything is downloaded and the music will be playing in the background and that actually looks really cool i will admit it, it does the one thing about place it versus videos videos does allow you to actually create your the video content relatively easy within liter as literally as three clicks or in as little as three clicks place it does have a bit more advanced features because it does allow you to add in like changing colors even removing the font and size even though you can do all that but there's definitely a few more kind of intricate tools that are available to you so you can change the background colors and images on it so there's, there is more advanced features it really depends on your preference so when we're happy enough with this we're just going to download this video as well so once the video is actually finished rendering you will get a pop-up banner that will appear that allow you to download the video and as you can see it's actually downloading here currently at the moment so you just need to give it a few moments and then once it's rendered you'll be able to preview it and see what you think right okay so with both of these screens now the video is now available i'm just going to play both of them so that you can see for yourself what they actually look like so that's the videos one and this one here is the one that was created with playset so as you can see there the visual differences between the two they're both really really cool it really all depends on your preference pretty much on which app you want to use if you're more of a beginner and you don't have much experience in terms of creating or customizing videos the videos platform may be the best fit for you but if you want to get a bit more in depth with some of the other tools and features and want to play around with certain settings then places may be a really good alternative for you and even with that if you don't want to ju do just video you can play around with a lot of the other mockups and templates depending on what format you're wanting to use playset pretty much has it all but if your only sole focus is to create video content then videos is the perfect one for you but it either one they're both fantastic i highly recommend them both i really really like both of them there is for me there is no real preference because i really like the two of them but it all boils down to what you want to use and what you want to get out of it with regards to creating your content but either one of them are really really great alternatives to get started but again if you want to have a look more into these programs and to be able to have more clarity as to which one you want to decide to look into again i'll leave links down in the description below so that you can go and check either of them out so if you have found this video to be helpful, make sure to leave a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be updated whenever I release future content and also make sure to share the video. As I am going to be doing a lot more of these comparison style videos on similar platforms like this here to give you other ideas of some of the really useful platforms that you can use online to get started with your online business. And as always, I will see you in the next one.